Let's go to the care center in Regan. David Reagan, the first driver to emerge from the care center. First off, glad you're okay, David. From your viewpoint, you had a fast race car all day. You're a good plate racer. From your viewpoint, could you do anything there? No, uh, get to the bottom a little quicker. Uh, I messed around through one and two, and, and I thought Blaney was going to push me down the back straightaway, and he kind of bailed on me. And when they started wrecking in three and four, I saw it for a split second, and before I could even do anything, looks like I'm uh, underneath the 10 car there looking at his rear end housing. So, you know, that's just a product of these speedway races. It's the Daytona 500. You're going for the win. Can't thank our Front Row Motorsports team, selectblinds.com. We had a fast race car. We were in contention. That's all you can hope for in those final 10 laps until all hell breaks loose. What was it like underneath that race car right there? I mean, you're completely under Eric Amarola's car. What could you see? Yeah, I can't thank NASCAR and the safety teams. You know, you hit a hard impact like that, and you're moving around. You see sparks. You see smoke, but you're still conscious and holding on. So going 200 miles an hour and stopping that fast with the concrete wall is not very fun, but uh, NASCAR and all their safety team do an incredible job keeping us safe so we can go to Atlanta Motor Speedway next week and do it again. Thanks, David.